I'm away from my bookshelves and there's nothing better to do, so here are the ugliest book covers ever, in my opinion. The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, the UK edition. This one just confuses me because the US cover is beautiful, beautiful green gorgeousness, but no, they had to favour the Pixar stock images version. This is hideous, and I didn't like the book either, but that's beside the point. The next book is The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, the UK edition. Um, this, I think I hate more. Um, I, th I just... <clears throat> it's ugly. Next is The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, the UK edition. Um, this is the worst one. It's awful. They've just copy and pasted the people from the prior book covers and then just stuck some them on a chessboard. Is there a chessboard in the book? I don't know, but it looks bad. Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll make this a series. Tie-in movie covers shouldn't be a thing. I have never seen a good one. And if you say you've seen a good one, you're fucking lying. They're always ugly. Someone's out to get N.K. Jemsen because why are her covers always ugly, especially the fifth season? What did she do to you? The original Twilight covers were already bad and then you did this. What was the reason? You know, changing the color doesn't make it special edition, right? What the hell? The 2010 era of covers were fucking god awful. Anybody who worked on these covers, you deserve jail. Because who asked for this? Especially the Mordor instruments. What the hell? On the topic of Hunger Games, anybody else remember these fucking god awful, disgusting book covers? This is the box that I had. It's about over 10 years old now, I would say. These are the books. They're in, you know, very, very well loved, very well read and whatnot. Um, but yeah, absolutely disgustingly ugly. And I was always so jealous when everybody had the nice, like, black covers that just had the birds on the front, the Mockingjays. And I had these foul, disgusting book covers. So ugly. Like, that, ugh. That color, color combination is just atrocious. Remember someone in my year 6 class had the like ones with the gold plating along the pages? So jealous. So jealous. You know what I will say though is that that box set came with a mocking J pin. And everybody was so fucking jealous of me. Someone offered to buy it off of me at one stage. So fuck you. Um, I gotta call mocking J pin even though my books are ugly. talking about ugly covers um especially amy v reads did a funny series on these books and it just reminded me of english books that have been translated in french and they're awful covers and so i thought i would show you okay i'm going to let you guess what this cover is and the english equivalent if you have guessed red white and royal blue you are absolutely correct and i think it's such a shame because they changed the title they changed the cover but it's still in english and if I saw this in a bookstore, I would never pick up this book, which is a shame because it's one of my favorites. And this one is just sad. Like, it's nothing bad, but if you compare it to the original cover, you lose the whole identity behind the cover. Um, the character on the original cover is clearly Asian, and they completely changed that. And in French, it says Eliza is a feminist when that's not at all the main message that you want to take away when you look at the English cover. So I was just like upset. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, I don't know what the Shadow Me series did to the world to deserve this, but look at the French cover. It makes you really appreciate the English covers more and I know that they are unpopular, so. This is a work of art. This is bullshit. This is a work of art. This is bullshit. This is a work of art. But this, this is bullshit. These are more of the ugliest books of 2020, except I don't own any of them. Why would I put these on my shelf? <laughs> you know what? I love it. I love it. This just doesn't seem to know what it wants to be. 
I don't get the point of the and like the the text placement's just very strange like why is a novel in the middle of the I don't know I don't get it it's just so boring what is this supposed to tell me reminders of him he reminds you of a bird I'd forgotten to put this on the first list but I mean look at it it is actually hideous why is her shadow a chess piece there's a new theme in thriller covers. They all have an image in the background and then like handwritten text. Exhibit A, Exhibit B. And it doesn't even look nice. It's just very meh. It's a US thing though, because the UK covers are different. And finally, this is just too busy. The first cover I actually really like because there's a lot of empty space, but there's nowhere on this cover where there's nothing going on. There needs to be some more chill room, you know? And I don't like the blue, it's very muted and it just doesn't strike you, you know? Red from the first cover is like, whoa, pretty, not this.